Uh, Matthew here again. As soon as I finished the last video, I raised there was a couple of downsides of Olex 2 I should mention. The first um, shouldn't come up much, but a very annoyingly, Shalex Olex alters the order of items in your SIF. Not just inserts new stuff between them, it will actually extract everything and put them in a different order, so you can't do a line-by-line -line comparison of a Shalex generated SIF and an Olex 2 generated SIF, even when you're using Shalex L as your refinement program. So be aware of that. Um, if anyone knows of a good line good non-line-by-line -line diff program that will do an item-by-item -item comparison, not carrying the order they are in the file, uh, either Linux or Windows, or Linux command line or Windows command line or graphical, please let me know. Um, that doesn't normally come up much except in one situation, which is Olex thinks it's smarter than you. And it might be right a fair bit of the time, but I've encountered a time where I had restraints which Olex thought were not doing anything, but actually were. For example, if you have two restraints on the same atom, one of which is stronger than another, it will delete one of them, despite the fact that they are both actually effective. Uh, the, I, as I recall, it was a while ago, the time I encountered this, I had a global rigu on, and then a small section of the uh, structure had a stronger rigu um, to avoid some pancaking. And, uh, or it may have been, it, it was something with disorder and multiple restraints interacting. Uh, it deleted some of them, so that caused the structure to explode. And as part of the refining and merging process, it does re-refine your structure. So if you have complicated restraints set up, make sure you check that your structure has not changed and your instruction file is the same as your shell x generated one that is if you're not solving the structure completely in olex um, so just be aware of that now if that does happen so what i do i will either on the command line or in shell x le refine with shell x properly i will still do what i showed you with the report generation in olex 2 but i will then open both sifs and copy the numbers from the Olex 2 one because they're all generated by the integration and the absorption correction and scaling process, not the actual refinement. Copy those over and then save them in the Shellex generated SIF. The problem with that is because, as I said earlier, Olex rearranges the items, you can't just do a simple line by line comparison. Um, I really hope Olex will stop reordering the items. <laughs> Um, or that someone will give me a tool. As I say, I've only encountered that once, I think, now that I know how to use the meta SIF, but um, that's just something to be aware of and to watch out for that Olex is not altering a SIF you've generated in another, pro or altering your instruction file that you've generated in another program. Uh, the other downside is if, like me, you've got a little bit of programming background, so you're writing comments in your instructions file, uh, Olex drift all those to the top. So for example, I often will manually do uh, disorder using the shellx hints about where to put them and I'll leave the old uh, atom in the a comment in case I want to go back. Olex will just bubble all your comments to the top so you can't actually leave notes to yourself about say why you have a restraint on, which I'll often do, or uh, what atom position an atom is before you try to model the disorder, that will all be gone. Or it won't be gone, but will all be disordered and not useful anymore. Uh, so if you want to leave comments on why you did something in your instruction file, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, again, that's something I wish Olex2 wouldn't do, but just be warned of it. I don't know if I'm the only one who does that. Again, it's just a habit I got into from programming classes to leave comments to myself. But, yes. I think that's everything. As I said, this is how I use it. I just thought people should be aware of some of the uh, surprises I've encountered.